Make sure to check out FIFA Coins Trader. It is a automated coin service. Hopefully, you will go ahead and uh, go in the description and go and check them out. Buy some coins and uh, yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to a nation of Expo Gaming videos. Today, we've got for you a potential transfer, but instead of doing it the way we normally do it, I wanted to do it a different way, as I find it a little bit easier, probably editing-wise, to do them this way, as it would be a lot easier. Okay, so the first player we're going to be doing is Gundogan. So he is the centre mid from Borussia Dortmund. He is linked with a, a few, a couple of clubs. Um, he is centre mid. He's 22 years old, so he's quite young for a centre mid, and he's been, he's had quite a good season to be honest. Uh, Bruce Dortmund he may get some more matches going on if he stays uh, if he stays there in Germany, as uh, Goetz has now um, gone to uh, Bayern Munich, so he's gone and he's opened up a spot for him. Can he get into there? We'll soon see. But the two clubs that are kind of uh, venturing into him is Manchester United is the first one that have had high links with loads of centre mids but Gundogan being one of the ones that there's been speculation for a little bit now and uh, we'll soon see he's rated at around about 17 million by uh, Borussia Dortmund and his agent so Man U would have to fork out probably that maybe a little bit more uh, depending on what, what's going down there but Man U they're looking, they're looking sharp to find someone so they're, they're going to end up getting someone Will it be Gundogan? We'll have to wait and see. Then we have Arsenal. They've been just linked with quite a few players. They've been looking to bid for quite a few, to be honest. They've got Higuain, um, Gundogan. They did go for someone else, and I can't remember who it is now. They've, they've gone for definitely tried to go for someone else. And uh, they're, looking for, they're looking for a lot of a lot of people, to be honest. You'll see a lot of Arsenal in here, to be honest. So, the next player we're going to go for is Di Maria. So, if I quickly just change over the slide, there we go. He is 25 years old. He plays for Real Madrid and he's the Argentinian right mid, obviously. He's a really, really good player, to be honest. He is coming into his prime now. He's kind of hitting that kind of point where he's at his best. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's maybe looking to move. I don't know why he's looking to move, to be honest, because I thought he was kind of a regular almost in Real Madrid. But Real Madrid are looking to bring in quite a few new players, so it could push him out of the squad. I know Higuain is looking for somewhere else, and I could understand Higuain, Benzema, and then maybe Suarez coming in as well. Um, he's going to be pretty much left out, so you can understand. But Manchester City are looking to uh, sign Di Maria. They've just signed De Jesus Navas. With, well, not just signed, but like they've they've agreed and uh, pretty much signed Jesus Navas. So I really don't get why they're trying to offer 30 million for Di Maria. Um, they have actually put, I think they have put that offer in uh, today, in fact. Um, but 30 million for another right mid. I really don't get why they're bringing in another right mid. It's just the Man City rule that they have to bring in five of the right mids if they've already brought one. But I, I really don't get why they are because Jesus Navas is going to be ending up on the bench just like Macon. Um, Macon has lost it completely. He was an absolute tank for Inter. But now, a season off, and he's just completely crumbled. And finally, we have Demba Ba. So, he has went to Chelsea literally five months ago from Newcastle. And he and Mourinho is already looking to sell him. He, don't think, he doesn't think he's very good. And uh, Mourinho is looking to replace him already. So, there is no offers at the minute of who he's going to go to. But... Whoever he goes to, to be honest, it's going to be pretty unfortunate that he's moved from Newcastle to go to uh, to Chelsea, and then and then pretty much five months later down the line, be put up again on transfer. So, I'm I'm wondering who he's going to go to. The question of the day is going to be, who do you reckon he's going to go to? Where, does he go back to Newcastle? Does he go to West Ham? Does he go to any other club in the Prem? Or does he look elsewhere in different national in in different uh, countries? So there is your question, answer it uh, if you will, comment section below, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe, so I'll see you again next time, bye bye.